For the first time since 1960, there is no pro football available in San Diego. Spano's family decided San Diego was no longer a viable option for them and took the family's business to the Los Angeles market. The team is playing in Carson for a few years, then in Englewood. Spanos' Chargers opened the season with a Monday night game in Denver. But things might have been different. Without the passage of Proposition 218 by California voters in 1996, the thought behind Proposition 218 was that it would be a mechanism that would put the brakes on local government spending and the need to raise taxes and fees for projects by asking the public to approve the expenditure with two-thirds instead of a simple majority vote. The projects could include spending for new sewer lines, or the construction of a library, or a football stadium. On August 28th, the California State Supreme Court struck down part of the law, leaving San Diego-based NFL customers, fans, and marketing partners wondering, what if San Diego had the stadium referendum on the ballot this year instead of 2016? The catch here, the Spanos family, not the city, had to put it on the ballot. The court ruled individuals who get questions put before voters need a simple majority to win. It's a moot point, as the 2016 referendum asking San Diego residents to help fund the stadium village went down to a defeat, getting just 41% of the vote. But San Diego could eventually want an NFL team, and an owner eventually might want to look to a different city where local officials will gladly give that owner 92% of stadium revenues. It suddenly became a bit easier to build a San Diego football stadium. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.